we take a look at the starting lineups for both of these teams. First off, Matt, for Peter Vermees side, no changes to the team that drew nil-nil at DC United last weekend. And I don't think that's a huge surprise, Nate. It was a solid performance away last week at DC United. It's a good point, it's a good clean sheet. There's no reason really to change the lineup. Seven changes, in fact, for Oscar Pereja's side. They got a 2-1 victory over the LA Galaxy last weekend in Los Angeles. Yeah, I watched that game against uh, LA Galaxy and FC Dallas put them away very tightly. I know LA Galaxy had an awful amount of oppression, uh, in, had a lot of possession, but they struggled to break down FC Dallas. It's Coleman running right down the middle. Beesler got a piece of it. It takes a deflection. Melia has to come flying out to break up the shot attempt. And it's out for an FC Dallas corner. Really wanted to go and, and attack the ball. In the end, it was a lucky ricochet that came off. And to send it through to Akindeli down the right-hand side. The flag stays down, looking for Coleman, and it hits the post. He's off. Now we see a yellow card on Maynor Figueroa, as it was Akindeli who was the man that was offside, but Coleman would have had a goal. I think we all need to be patient this evening, not only the, the sporting Kansas City players, the, uh, the, but the fans as well. Dwyer tries to bicycle it in front of the box. Here comes Churso, and a diving save by Jesse Gonzalez. As we see here, lovely bicycle kick. Flicked on by Hedges, so just meets it at the back post, but hits the ball into the ground, just takes some sting out of that shot. Gerso had to take it on the short hop, so to speak. Yes. Couldn't quite catch it cleanly. Turning on it, fail hopper. Chipping it over for Dwyer. He's onside, but he lost his footing. He slipped there, didn't he, Nate? It's a great run. It's being played onside by the left back, Gui, and that's a terrible line that FC Dallas are holding. Really unfortunate that he slipped over. You said before the game, Nate, you had... Sports Radio 810 WHB. Cross comes in, it's, it's an opportunity for Jimmy Madronda on the back post. He lost his footing. It's a great deep cross from Gerso. Hasn't covered himself in any glory there, Jesse Gonzalez. Didn't know whether to punch at it. He didn't, he flapped at it, and he just pushes it into the path of Jimmy Madranda. Flag was up anyway on Matt Beasler for offside. As we take a second look, I'm not sure he wasn't an offside position there. Chipping it in for Dwyer. That was a good chance. He cuts inside onto his favored left foot. It's a delightful cross onto the head of Dom Dwyer. Gets to finish all wrong. He's gone for real power. Just come off the side of his head. the foot of Kellen Acosta. Second look at this save by Tim Melia. It's a great curve on it from Kellen Acosta. Looking for Blessing, and he puts it over the crossbar. That's it's a good cross in from Gerso, takes a little flick, and the ball does reach Latif Blessing at the back post. Gerso to Ilya. Soren Stoika, but the final whistle. And a frustrating night comes to a frustrating conclusion.